Uh, Neil, so many chances this afternoon, but if you don't take your chances, you're always vulnerable at the other end, and that proved to be the case today. Yeah, you know, goals change games. Um, if we score at 1-1, I think we've got a totally different game on our hands. Um, second half in particular, we were excellent. First half was a bit end-to-end. -end. Second half, I mean, we, had, we must have had at least five more chances than we had last week, and better chances. Um, but the work between the boxes to get there was exceptional and the bit in the boxes wasn't and games are won and lost in both boxes. That seemed to be the case. Good work in the middle there, creating excellent opportunities, just, just not good enough in both boxes, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, we're disappointed with the goals we've conceded, obviously, when you're away from home. Um, you know, a clean sheet is the bedrock of everything. I mean, the two goals they've scored in the space of two minutes is is, is, is it killed the game. But um, it's just one of them days I can't. You know, we, we do loads of work on how to get there, create the chances for the forwards, and we believe we've got loads of goals in us this season. I think there was a penalty shout on Christian at 1-1. I thought that was a clear-cut penalty, but it's easier to give them in the 90th minute of 3-0. It's not so easy at 1-1. Um, can't fault a lot of it. Can fault the both boxes. What can you? I mean, there's nothing you can do really on on the finishing there. I mean, where's Thomas missing from two yards out and hitting the crossbar and multiple balls being cleared off of the, off the touchline? There's not a huge amount more that you can do on that side of things, is there? No, we we, we work hard on our finishing. We work hard on our play. Um, you know. You, you, I'm disappointed to lose a game of football, and I'm disappointed, you know, that the bit that I'm a little bit not concerned about. But we've got to get out of the habit of we play Wrexham and we're excellent, and we should win and we draw. We play today, we're excellent, and you know we shouldn't lose and we we lose. So we just got to get out of the habit of being a, an unlucky team. How do you do that? <coughs> Apart from like stop running over black cats and things like that. Yeah, we just got to keep believing in what we're doing. Um, like I said, we've got to manage different types of games today. They played the diamond. They hadn't played it all season. They played it, so we had to adjust to that 15 minutes into the first half and get to grips with it a little bit. Um, but I thought we did in the second half. We then come up with a plan on how we would hurt it, and I thought we did that as well. And we looked strong fitness-wise. Just one of them days. For the fans that weren't here and didn't see that, they're going to look at the scoreline and go, that's rubbish. How, how would you defend that? How, how would you kind of answer back to the, that that's rubbish thing? Um, well, we got clapped off by the fans that were here because they, they probably can't believe we haven't won the game. Football's about results. People are going to say it's rubbish because it's a rubbish result and we lost 3-1. Um, if you were at the game, the performance of the team was, was excellent. The finishing was, was uh, you know, just uh, comical at times. But, you know, the players are getting there. They're working hard to get there. And I believe we've got lots of goals in us. How disappointed were you by the calibre of goal you conceded today? Though? Yeah, really poor. First one, diagonal ball. And, you know, we just we all over the shop and then we should still deal with the second one and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a goal we don't seem to get. Um, the second one again, we you know, don't get first contact in our own box. Um, so we've got to cut them out. And it's very, very similar to, to at Wimbledon, the year we got promoted. We, we spent the first half of the season mid-table because we didn't cut out that sort of thing. And then when, as soon as we cut it out and we got better at it, we, we went on a promotion charge. And we've got to believe that if we can cut that end out, we've got enough to, to do the other side. Uh, Carl Wotton came on, got 20 minutes or so at the end. What can fans, what can you expect from him? Um, well, hopefully a bit of everything. He needs work. He's a young lad and I, I want to get to work on him. But, but he'll bring that ability. You know, you see him at the end, he get on the end of two or three crosses. He had one where he could have scored from a few yards out. So if we keep getting into areas like that with him, Wes, Christian, Nathan, we, we believe there's goals there. We've just got to stop conceding. Uh, so often this month, I mean, this was the eighth game of August, we've sort of gone, Oof, well, another game swiftly follows and that's not always been a good thing because you, you're trying to get fitness and legs into these, these bodies that were coming in and only just signed. But I guess Solihull on Tuesday now is actually the perfect tonic for a day like this. Yeah, we've got to get you know, back on the all, so to speak, and, and go again. It'll be a totally different challenge, although, you know, to be fair, Yeovil were a really big team today, so we're going to have that again on, on Tuesday. But if we can if we can master it, which we haven't today, if we can master it and, um, and play some of the football we played and create the chances, you'd like to think we're not going to have two days, two games consecutive where we, we miss the chances we did today. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.